This is the senior certificate or the end of year exam for grade 12 IT prac exam or the paper one for November 2020. And we are looking at question two. We've done already SQL question, which is 2.1. We're now going to go into the normal database question part of it for question 2.2. Now, if you've forgotten, we are dealing with uh, TBL employees and TBL hour logs from our previous question. We did the SQL. So there's the details about the employees and there's the details about the hours that they worked each day. And we've got three buttons that we're going to work with. So the first thing, let's go. Uh, display the employee ID, last name and job title of all the employees who completed first aid training. Okay, so let's have a look here. How do I know if they completed first aid training? Oh, there's first aid training, and I'm assuming that must be a true. So we want to list over here, when I click on this button, all the IDs, last names, and job titles. So IDs, last names, and job titles of those who obtained uh, first aid training. So let's go to the program. So there's our program. We double click there. Some nice little stuff has been done for us to get the... Um, the headings and that so we're going to come over here so we are going through this list of things in the tbl employees and it's always tbl employees dot first we start at the first record while we are not at tbl employees dot end of file while we're not at the end begin and we're going to do some stuff and we're going to go tbl employees dot next so that's our algorithm every single time this is the end of our while loop yeah, so what are we doing? We want to check if they've got first aid training. So we need to just write code here for one record and the loop will do it for all the records. So if TBL employees and which record we want, if that record equals true, the which is the first aid training, which record is that? Let's go to here. I'm not there, sorry. I'll go to the question. If the first aid training, one word, first aid training, first aid training is true then we have found an employee that has had first aid training then in the rich edit dot lines dot add we must display tbl employees a field which field do they want they want to display the id employee id employee id we want to display that so i'm gonna copy this to save my life save some time plus a hash nine plus the next employee which is the last name and then on the next line I'll put it over here plus another hash nine plus the job title I think those are the three fields employee ID last name job title and those are all strings there we go you can see they're all strings so I don't need to convert anything so there we go boom so there we go. So if it's true, display it, then move to the next one, and so on, so on, so on. So let's see if it runs. Hopefully it works. It's not, we want to go to the Delphi code there. Boom, boom. There we go. Those three. Does it match the three that we want? Let's look. There we go. There we go. There we go. So it works. Okay. But they also say there's another part. There's another part. There's another part. Display the number of employees you completed the first day training. So, oh, there's a line at the end. Number of employees. So we're going to count them. The moment you are counting, you're going to do three things. First of all, we're going to have a variable for our count, which is our Dracula variable. I mean, our count Dracula variable. And then, yeah, before we do anything, I'm going to initialize my count variable to zero. That's the first step. And then whenever I find an employee that I want to count, then I must increase our count. So, hey, we found one. We found one of these employees that got first day training. And then after the loop, right at the end, then we can say rich edit dot lines dot add. Now they put a little they put a little gap in first, if you notice there. Like that little gap. So I'll put in a little gap too. Just to make sure I make it exactly like they want it. Add. Um, and what do they want me to display? They want me to display total number of employees with first day training. Oh, total number of employees with first aid training and then plus the number so r count but r count is an integer so it's converted from an int to a string and now it should work and give us the three at the end let's run oh number of is wrong there but let's see if it just 
There we go. And it says three. There we go. So I'm just going to fix this up. Put that there. Put that there. Put a little space there. There we go. So there we go. That's the first question. For seven marks. Oh, that's a lot of marks. Cool. So next question. 2.2. Write the code to add a new record to the employees table with those details. Example of the last few records. So it just adds it. Is that it? Okay, that's easy. That's just a simple insert. So yeah, 2.2, that's easy. We're going to go into insert mode. Dot insert. We are inserting an employee, right? I just want to check. Yes, into the employees table. And then at some point at the end, we're going to have to post these results. But in between all this, we're going to set the value. So TBL employees square brackets is equal to something. So I'll just do the first one and then I'll show you what the rest of them look. So employee ID, employee ID is equal to the text EMP, electric magnetic pulse 986. So that's the employee that we must add. Is that right? 986. There we go. And then you do that for all the other fields. I'm going to go do that ahead just to save some time. So I went ahead and typed them all out. You see for each field, first name, Robert, last name, how do you pronounce that? Hourly wage. You see, that's a, a number field. So I just left it without the, the quotes. Job title, marine engineer. And first aid training, because that's a Boolean, I also don't have quotes around that. So just remember, you make sure that you get the right fields or the right data types going into those fields. And then we post the results. So I think that's right. It's that simple. Let's run it. Do, do, do. So if we go look here. So we see our employees. We go right to the bottom. There's Colin Lehman the last one. So they go add a new employee. Boom. And there we go. Add it to the bottom. Fantastic. A marine engineer. He engineers marines. No, I think it's got something to do with the C. So let's go to the next question. 2.2.3. By the way, that's six marks plus the seven. Oh, so that's 13. Next six one. Administrator is able to change the log hours. Okay. So the user must select from the DB grid and enter the value in the edit box and then click on the button and it will update the hours worked of that particular field. Update. So we are editing the hours worked of the logged table. Okay, so what they're going to be doing, the way they describe that, if we run the code, the idea is they are going to click on a particular uh, like log ID, type in something there, 12, and then we're expecting that 10 to change to 12. Now, because that black arrow is where we need to be, we can assume that TBL hour logs will be exactly where we need it to be. We don't need to search for anything. We don't need to move the TBL hour logs to dot first. We can assume that the black arrow will be at the one that the user wants to specify. So we can go straight into edit mode when we get to that. So the hour logs dot edit. And then at some point we'll have to do our logs dot post because we're posting our results. And what are we doing? We are just changing the our logs, one particular field to whatever's in that edit box. So what is it? It's going to be which field? The hours worked field. We are changing the hours worked field to whatever is in the edit box for edt question dot text. But this is a string and this is probably some sort of number field it looked like it was an integer so i'm going to convert it from a string to an int so that i can fit into the hours worked field so let's try that is it is it that is that it you click on it change it that seems like it's just that and it's only five marks so let's see if it works so let's go yeah if i want to change this one this one there 170 or 760, sorry. It's currently at 10 hours. I'm going to make it 12. Update. And there we go. It changed it to 12. We want to change it back to 10. Change it back to 10 and so on. So there we go. And I can go to other records. Let's, let's say, oh, we made a mistake. This guy actually made some. He worked 10 hours as well. And there we go. So there we go. It's working. I think that's it. Looks like that's it. Fantastic. So that's all you need to do. And that's how you can do the SQL, not the SQL and the database part of the component. So that's the, that's an easy question. Um, there's lots of easy marks that you can obtain to get the 40 marks. So really know your SQL and really know your database programming. You can get these easy marks. For more videos from this exam paper, as well as the other videos from other exam papers, go to our playlists on our YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.